Oh. I've been trying to grab that knot with corners of walls for years. Oh. There we go, yeah. <laughs> That'll wake you up in the morning. Yeah, that's uh -huh. good stuff. Those are just your fingers under my neck? Yeah. Holy crap. Oh. Iron thumbs. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, this is my thumbs, bud. Wow. <laughs> Rose McKean doesn't have fingers that strong. <laughs> Holy. I work them out every day, so. I will. I mean, I understand. You'll beat me in arm wrestling and bench well, pressing, but I'll, right. beat, I'll beat you in thumb work. <laughs> right. We do the thumb wrestling. You got me all day. <laughs> right. My money's on this guy. There it is. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there, Ed. Yes, sir. That's the juice. That's the stuff, yep. Yes. Yep. That's not, that's, that's everything. Right now I work in a warehouse, so I mean, I'm lifting, I'm, it's a plumbing warehouse, so I mean, toilets, everything. the whole nine, China, yeah. you know, as heavy as it can be, you know, I have to lift it. Any discomfort currently? What do you, do you have any? Right now I have a, it's super tight up here in my neck, and this has been a thing that I've been dealing with since I was in high school. Okay. Between that and uh, yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I've been doing that for a while. Okay. And then uh, and then my ribs actually sometimes like if I cough too hard or after a while I, like right now I took a deep breath I'd feel a pain like right the right joints. next to my spine gotcha. you know about right there. I got you. And then um, and then well three years ago when I was in Mississippi. I was pulling a Honda generator that we use out in the oil field for, you know, yeah. obvious reasons. I was sliding along the ground and then I just felt a, a sharp pain. Shot all the way down my leg and all the way up my back. And I've been dealing with a lot of tightness in this, right out on the outside of my knee here. Yes, sir. If I was just, just reach down and touch my toes. Yes. This side would be unbelievably tight and this side I could easily touch my toes. We call that a straight leg raise, <laughs> bending forward. Right. Which is an orthopedic test that is for what we call a space occupying lesion. There's a disc injury is what essentially causes that. Right. So part of your back has aged at a faster rate and that's right. where we can, to really evaluate that, nobody's taking the imaging MRI of you. Well, I'm, I was in a motorcycle accident, so you might be able, I might be able to pull one up laying down. They took a laying down MRI? I would imagine, yeah. How long ago would that be, you think? 2017. Okay. If you have the ability to ever get that, I would love okay. to look at it. I mean, yeah. that, um, do, you, do you remember anything they said about that MRI? Did they go over with you? I never had to go see a chiropractor or anything for it, so I would imagine that they didn't see anything okay. stand out to be an you're, issue. You're young enough that if it was laying down, sometimes they can miss disc injury, which is okay. a little like, was. and you're saying that sensation happened before or after that MRI, you think? that would have been after. The tightness was there, the tightness. but the pain was never there. The pain happened when I was pulling that gener generator. Right. Before, I just always thought it was tight. Just tight, right. So what you're feeling is sensitization. The, the nerve controls the muscles. Right. So when the nerve is falsely irritated, the muscle's getting a sensation to contract. The okay. nerve is tasering it, in essence. Right. And then when you further hit the nerve, it now is going to cause that shooting. That pain, okay. So the tightness in your chest when you're coughing contributes to your lower back overstressing. Okay. So you have tightness, the joints in your middle back are reluctant, you know, and then, mm. or they're inflamed. Right. And that's when you're, you're breathing and you can feel them. Part of it is that it's good that you can feel your middle back. That's actually a good thing. And I, I know it's like, well, it's pain, it doesn't feel good. Right. It, if you didn't feel, if it wasn't moving at all, you wouldn't have any relationship with your middle back. If it was totally frozen, right. and my middle back feels great. Okay. So the fact that you breathe and you can feel something in there means that you're not, I wouldn't say too far gone. You're saying you're right. not too far down the road. Yeah, I usually golf every weekend as well. Good. So when I say, my point is that we really just got to clean up your middle back. Right. You're 28. You probably have a 40-year-old L5. Does that make sense? Part yeah, of your oh, spine yeah, I get it. is older. So what we want to do is the care that we implement when you're 40, you catch up to the age of your spine. It doesn't keep aging to right. 70. Right. We, we eventually line up with the proper age of your body. If right. you lift a tire on a car that's flat it, up, the tire doesn't look so tire flat. tire doesn't look so flat anymore. Right. It's kind of silly. So Absolutely. They, take, they take these laying down MRIs and they're like, well, it looks good. Like, right. Edge like, nice and flat. Like Picard, like Picard, like Picard from Star Trek, you know, just, uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Picard face palm. Right. Uh, I mean, one, one episode he has the double face palm. It's like, uh. <laughs> yeah. Now, have you crossed this arm under? Gotta cross this arm over. 
So this one's going to go on top, sorry. Oh, this is on top. Perfect. Okay, gotcha. Right, you're going to help me do a sit-up. Sure. Take a deep breath in. You're going to head back. <laughs> Already moving. Nice. Beautiful. Look at that. Exhale. Exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Good. There we go. Good. Perfect. So we haven't lost everything in there. There are still some right, right, movable right. segments in there. I got you. So that's that's good news. Now they're upper as I got to the upper part. Not so much. A little not so, yeah. <laughs> a little not so much. Right. So if you didn't have me in your life over the next ten years, you probably would lose any remaining mobility. But that's why you feel that area. Right. Because yeah. there's still some mobility, and that's slowing down the tormenting of your lower back. Right. right deep breath in. Exhale. I got you, big guy. Good. Face other side for me. Good. Very good. Here we go. It's already moving. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Good. Face up for me. There we go. All right. Let's get you moving here. Let's try this side. I got you. Uh huh. How's that? Good. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna get more. Uh -huh. There we go. Yeah. Mm. That'll wake you up in the morning. Yeah, that's uh -huh. good stuff. I'm gonna get you more. We get deeper in a second. I just wanted to see what's what. First time been. First time ever been adjusted. Mm -hmm. Well, I do some self adjusting. Mm -hmm. Right. I can crack my neck without even using my hands at this point. Bad boy. Bad boy. I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> I always joke with the when I have, I always order my tires because I like the certain tires for my car. And, right. You know, I bring it to the tire mechanic and Absolutely. you know they're like UPS guy wouldn't put the tires on for you. you know? Right. <laughs> UPS guy wouldn't okay, uh, see how would, it is, yeah. wouldn't mountain bounce those for you. Right. You know, uh, yeah. What happens is it's a it's a never ending spiral mm -hmm. because when you're popping your own spine, it's highly likely that just the loose ones move, which makes the loose ones feel better temporarily. Mm -hmm. But in doing so, now they're looser and you further inflame them, mm -hmm. and so it then creates more inflammation, more pressure. Then you have to pop your spine again, which then makes you feel the need to pop it again, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you never. <laughs> You're just going down the rabbit yeah, hole. Right. So the two ways that I'll help you in that with that situation. One, you're actually not going to be able to pop your own spine because as your spine moves evenly, you won't be able to get any one segment to tension. Right. So the, the fact that you can pop your own spine is because your upper neck is tight, the lower neck is loose, and you're able to cavitate and, and pop your lower neck. Good. And then the second way that I'm going to help you, which is an even better one, you're not going to feel the need to. You won't right. feel the desire to right. pop your own spine. Gotcha. As, you're, as the curve, as the arch comes back to your neck, we call it this the lordosis, you're not going to have the tension and inflammation in your lower neck, which then creates the desire to release that pressure. I don't blame you for popping it. I, I get it. My point is that if you keep popping a joint, it'll eventually grow like a muscle. Mm -hmm. Keep exercising a muscle, it'll grow. When mm -hmm. a muscle grows, everybody high fives you in America. Mm -hmm. But if you make a joint grow in your spine, we call it a disease. You're right. Right. <laughs> well, that's gotcha. bad. That's bad. That's good. That's bad. Right. Right. And so neither, I don't look at either as good or bad. They just, it, it just is. When you overstress something, it gets larger. That's just what it does. If you overstress your skin, you get calluses. Are calluses good or bad? They just are. Right. They They're, just are. Right. It, it, it's actually good if you keep stressing out your hands because that extra thickening on your skin helps to protect the skin, mm -hmm. or it's a way your body tries to beef up something. Those are just your fingers under my neck. Yeah. Holy crap! <laughs> oh, iron thumbs. Wow. <laughs> yeah, these are my thumbs, but wow, Rose McKeague doesn't have fingers that strong. <laughs> Holy. I work them out every day, so. I will. I mean, I understand. You'll beat me in arm wrestling and bench well, pressing, but I'll, right. I'll beat you in thumb work. <laughs> right. We do thumb wrestling. You got me all day. Right. My money's on this guy. Yeah, absolutely. That's right. Professional thumb work champ. Yeah. First, I mean, they don't even budge. You're just holding them there. It's like, wow. <laughs> yeah, there's no shaking. Right. There. Nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Jeez. The first year they did. The first year. It took about a year for my thumbs to oh, man. get strong enough to hold you. That's the stuff there. <laughs> yeah, I don't even feel anymore. They they stopped communicating with me a long time ago. <laughs> they just excommunicated. I, 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 I don't think he's gonna listen. Right. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Actually, I mean, I felt way stiffer next, and this isn't nothing. So you, twenty six is full skeletal maturity. So you're not that far past into hardening. Okay. Gotcha. So 
the main message that we're going to teach you is to keep you supple. Mm. I don't want you losing your suppleness. The parts that are still moving, I want to keep right. them. And then any of the areas that are reluctant, we need to get them back working. Right. Because we know that your work and then golf and all these things are, right. you're going to last longer having your whole team working. Right. And not exactly. being on a skeleton crew or heading towards a skeleton crew. Yeah, I've started stretching a lot more when I moved back here. Gotcha. Just because starting to golf, I could feel how tight I was. Yes. So I started doing like, you know, full football routine stretching and it started to really help alleviate yes. a lot of the pain that I've been having in my neck and my back and all that. I'll get you out and get it. Like clay, we gotta make the spine soft, and then we can reshape it. Well, I'm just the mold, man. All right, we're gonna re All right. All right, here we go. We're gonna do the side again. There we go. What's that? What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's the stuff. That's the stuff right there. Yes, yeah, sir. That's the juice. There we go. I get a little more here. There it is. Yeah. Mm. All right, we're gonna go face down for me, and then we're gonna go shirt. I don't even know you crack a neck that deep. <laughs> Holy mother! Feel the disparity. A huge monster right there. Not as bad over here, but right there. Yeah, so the, a lot of joints in your chest. You have 12 thoracic vertebrae and four joints at every level. So 48 joints okay. in your chest. It's a lot of mouths to feed. Oh, yeah, no kidding. And all it takes is one or two joints being a little swollen or inflamed for it to hurt to cough, oh, <laughs> right? Okay. Or to hurt to breathe in. Gotcha. The good news is if two joints are hurting, you have 46 joints that are hurting. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Okay. But nobody cares about the 46 <laughs> joints that are happy. Yeah. And I don't care about them. I care about the two that are hurting. That's right. Right? But it's the, the good news that we need to understand in here is that most of your spine is not injured. <laughs> that right. there's a smaller percentage of your back that's very vocal. <laughs> <laughs> that it's like having a classroom of children and have one or two that are screaming and it feels like you're in chaos right. right it's like you know but you have 23 students that are actually pretty happy and doing their job but <laughs> all it takes is a couple bad apples to ruin the whole that's it when your back gets stiff creates congestion which then doesn't allow the inflammation and repair process to happen so when we injure things it's like it's your skin you need blood flow to help replace your skin right internally in the joint the joint replaces itself every about six weeks or so so by working on the area, we can speed up or hasten that replacement, which is the better word for healing. Right. Healing is not the best word. It's really the word replacement. Your body, some tissue in your body replaces, some doesn't. Right. The expensive pain that you were describing was the radiating pain. That's a what we call a space-occupying lesion. You have 99.9% .9 of the time, it's a disc. You know, there, or you know, at your age especially, as you get older, it can be a bone spur. But at 28, you know, we're at a high, very high percent chance it's a disc. To see it, we need to have an MRI. But the the point of why I say it's high, it's expensive, is because the disc doesn't replace. So it's about slowing the stress on that knot. It's like enamel on your teeth. Once you run out of enamel, you know, you right. can't you can't, to, you can't chew on that tooth anymore. Exactly. Yeah. And you know, they, we just have zero guidance in America for spinal care right. left to just well, how do you feel the problem with stretching a stiff back is that when you're stretching this part of your back probably isn't stretching that much you're stretching right. this exactly. right so any exercise that you do with this mobility pattern is just going to further loosen what's already older and damaged and not allowing the tight stiff areas to participate right. so the better solution would be to not do those exercises, but to first unlock the spine, get all 24 vertebrae moving evenly, and then bring those exercises in. Right. 
how do I know that when you're doing those exercises that you're not just only doing them with the ones that are injured? This is just pretty boring, just me talking. Because <laughs> this, 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 feel this knot right here? This yeah. is so big. This knot in his back, it just takes time to be unraveled and unwrapped. Yeah. Right there. That's a good one. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Right here. Get it. When I become quiet, it's when I actually start working and... There we go. Oh. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> no, hey, listen, you hear that new go harder. All right, all right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be sweaty. <laughs> You're gonna get him a workout. Mm -hmm, let's get it. Mm. Yeah, up here's all frozen. Right there. What's the phrase of the day? That's the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. When you lifted that Honda, you know, uh, generator, whatever, you know, that's right. when your this area was tight. You tighten your diaphragm, probably right. holding your breath. You locked this oh, area, yeah. and then you. Overcook the bottom. That's just round one. We're going back inside. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. Man. We got it unlocked. What position football? Oh, offensive line. Defensive line? Oh, yeah. Defensive line? Oh, both. 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 Mm -hmm. Is it odd that this side's more painful than the other side? Right, you got it. Yep, this is the, okay. one side's going to be tight and then one side's going to be abused. I got you. Mm -hmm. This is the abuse mm -hmm. side? Mm -hmm. You got okay. it. Okay. That's right. Because the pain went down the right leg. Or, right. Yeah. 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 You got it. You got it. <laughs> right. So, cause and effect. That's it. Mm -hmm. Start playing the Chevy commercial. <laughs> rock or rock. How uh. strong as I could be. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. I got it. The, the, the pain you were describing in your upper back is, is the roots of your neck. So the more forward your head goes, the more tension those muscles are under. In order to get your head back, we've got to get your chest in. So right. the, the tension that you're feeling on these cables in here is postural. And then any activity you do further puts stress on the areas that are already compromised. Right there. Yeah. Man, I can feel it. Oh. This feels like there's just a rock down uh -huh. Oh! Oh! Mm -hmm. I've been trying to grab that knot with corners of walls for years. Oh! <laughs> Oof! Phew! When you go through a game, there's a level of car accidents that are happening. Right, exactly. And then, <laughs> as a result, your body just hardens. You know, every every session you go through that, and it's great for power. But in order for your body to make it to 90, you need a balance of power and flexibility. And that's all I'm saying is that you know, when your body, yeah. your body said, well, tighten everything down, tighten down the hatches. I don't know about you, but 18, I wasn't thinking about me. Right, sure, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Didn't have Bo as your father, my father. Right, father, right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. There you go, better. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting there. Come on, come on. Little tangles. 
injuries that healed, knotted up. You just gotta keep combing it until right. there's no knots, no ripples, no bumps. Internally, there's just little potholes and like a pavement that's got a tree underneath it that's messing up the ground, you know, making it ripple. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Right there, yeah. Mm, God, that's the one. Man. Oh. Yeah. These are the roots of your neck. So the more forward your head goes, the more the roots here get tugged on and pulled on, and now the attachments are saying they've had enough. Right. And so you gotta you have to stomp down the roots, but you also have to take the tree and get it upright. Right. Otherwise the roots will just keep on coming out of the ground. Gotcha. How's that feel, all the scraping that he's doing? Oh, great, like a back scratch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is he doing it harder, softer than you thought? Uh, actually softer. Yeah. I thought it was meant to like dig into, <laughs> into the muscles, but surprisingly with as red as people get, it's you're not yeah. going nearly as hard as I thought you would be. Yeah, this is all I do. Just, just not the butt head. Anything but the butt. Oh no, man, if you get that. I'll get it. But, Tension and that pain go away. I'm cool with it. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> roll. Right there, yeah. Even this joint's a little tighter over here in the left SI joint. It causes the right to overwork. So even the left Ooh, this yeah, joint here I is, feel that one. Mm -hmm, is more this is responsible also for the left middle back and your left SI joint are under functioning. Yeah. <laughs> right there. It's hard to stay on the mountain. Right there. There it is. There it is, good. Nice. I think there's a fly on my back. Yeah, uh-huh. Get you. <laughs> that's the stuff, yep. Yes. <laughs> that's not that's that's everything. <laughs> right. That's my, that's, my, that's my feet off the ground. That's Yeah. How does that feel? I've never seen him do that. It feels that. great. Yeah. <laughs> feels like somebody's actually getting in there and getting something done. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, anybody, if I can tell them to dig your elbow mm -hmm. and just do it. Yeah. And they're like, okay. Like, sure. Come on. Yeah. Like, Come on. Mm -hmm. Harder. Mm -hmm. There it is, nice. Still more moving. This is 
is your main engine right here. And if this engine is working, you'll never have that leg issue. It's in a minute we're going to stretch and we're going to put a piece of foam right here. And it's going to emulate the best we can me. <laughs> and it gives you allows you to have something at home that you can the highest part would be probably around here, right below your shoulder blades. You do 20 minutes here one night, the next night you do 20 minutes here. You're right here on top of this Mount Everest right here, 20 minutes. <laughs> and that works in concert with the care. So we, you get adjusted, you get a massage, you get gua sha, then you stretch. And we do rounds and rounds of that until all of this is smooth. The whole road has to be a level of effortlessness. And, Yeah, nice. I don't know, I think you still got me on thumb war. <laughs> Jeez, these hands are not. <laughs> there's a mason there. You have Mason's hands here, man. Your hands are just. Jeez, look at that opponent's. There's no chance. <laughs> <laughs> Him on a weekday. Because usually, yeah, that he's got you beat. Jeez, man. Sit for me when you're ready. Tilt your head to the right for me a little bit, but I got you. Tilt to the right. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, I didn't, all right. <laughs> so what's it? Just put cartilage back into place, basically. Just <laughs> loosening it all up. This all is right. All the drainage of your sinuses all drain down here. Oh, okay. So there's in, if there's adhesions behind your ear, this cogs clogs up the drainage. Okay. So you're trying to release any adhesions. Right. All right. Tilt left. <laughs> All right, same thing, tilt left. All right. There you go, nice. There it is. <laughs> the goal is to train you on how to use this. Right. So that you can learn how to take care of your own take back. Care of yourself, right. Right. And they and it's just time. So we're you're trying to let your body sink into it. This is the there's an arches called lordosis that are supposed to be in your back. The arch, like a wheel, allows the weight to be evenly spread gotcha. over the length of the arch. When something is straight, like a ladder, all the weight just gets transferred right. to the bottom. The table work, the adjustment, the roller, the all the soft tissue work is used as a tool to make your spine limber enough so that it can be pressed into the mold. Once you're able to stretch, your need for me goes down, and that's how we. And then you live your long life. Right. And then basically, the fact when you, when I'm on this thing, it should, I shouldn't really feel any pain or anything. Correct. It should almost be natural. It, it, it's going to be normal for you to be uncomfortable where it's pressing. So right now, okay. if it hurts in here, right. you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's not, not a bad pain. It's, okay. There are bad pains in the sense of anything that's further aggravating your lower back would be right. a bad pain. Any, when we restore function to a part of your back that's been stiff, that isn't a bad pain. We're, we're reawakening, un, unlocking it, unfreezing it. Gotcha. Yeah, because the only thing I ever, I ever even remember getting taught about spine care was when they checked you for scoliosis. Right, right. It's just in this Other than that, it was pretty much it. Bend down, touch your toes. Okay, you're you good. You really get taught how to understand how it even <sighs> operates. Right. They just the, the spinal care is poor in America. We have right. just very infantile level of awareness Everybody and just knowledge. just accepts it. It's just like, wait till it hurts. The <laughs> right. problem with that is half your spinal column doesn't have any feeling. So you can be damaging the disc with no awareness until it's cooked and destroyed. Right. And then you then are aware of it. Let me just show you this real quick. Right. You're, you know, you're just moving. I got you. Yeah. And, 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 you, and you, you might have these behind your head to reduce the depth, but this allows you to right. move around a little bit and you, you bring your knees and you're trying to keep it in your middle back and your upper back. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're just 
moving around. You take it here for a few minutes, you move down an inch. There's no, the only wrong spot would be if it was way down your lower back. Yeah, you Otherwise, would. the whole chest, this much material. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> the whole, the whole, where do you want to be using it? Everywhere. Everywhere. Just, just not, not your lower back. Right. Keep it in your middle back. That's about as low as you go, right about here. And you go back up and, okay. and you're just working. Maybe. Oh. Yeah. And you're working that middle back up around. Right. Yeah. Right. I can feel right working there. everywhere that you've been working. Yeah. Yeah. That actually feels great. Yeah. And then keep it in your middle upper back. Right. right. And that's what you use in the evening time before you go to bed to keep your chest loose. This is what you should have been doing when you're doing football <laughs> at the end of a game. That makes sense? Right. To yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's great. And then you get, to get off this, you just roll, you know, oh, sorry, keep, roll downwards until it pops out your pillow. And then your shirt's stuck. We get back <laughs> in. Instead of doing this, right. you know, if you have to, but uh, right. it's a lot cheaper alternative to getting up. It's just. <laughs> no, I got you. It just. That makes sense. It doesn't hurt necessarily to do this, but repetitively over years and years, right. it's just expensive. It's, right. an, it's like. If you go to your dental hygienist and say you like to chew on ice cubes, they're probably not going to be very happy. Right. Well, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't matter. We don't care. It's not good for your teeth. It's not good for your teeth. If you don't take out the bad, even though you're putting in good, you have to. Right. It's, it's a to give and take. Result. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Pleasure. Very much. Absolutely. Oh, wow. What a strong guy, man. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to go lay down. <laughs>